Hi, my name is Arash. In this video, I want to talk about modeling rules and logic, and then I will show you how to load your models and execute them. Let me first describe what is a model. A model is a representation of rules and logic that can be manifested in different forms and can be expressed in different high-level languages. To create a model of rules or logic, different tools can be used. You can create them using visual authoring tools like FlexRule Designer or spreadsheet software such as Microsoft Excel or Google Docs spreadsheets. Or you can create them in a high-level language such as XML, which is what we'll do in this video, or S expression language. Or if you like, you can create them in code. Sky's the limit. You can even define your own custom domain-specific language and use it for your own modeling. To work with models, you need to reference FlexRule core element assembly, which has all the classes to load and manipulate models. As I mentioned in this video, we're going to model simple rules using XML language. So let me add an XML document first. Let's write our first Hello World rule that writes an output to our console application. The root element of the model is corresponding to the rule type, and then we need to have an attribute that defines the name of the rule. The if command in procedure rule defines a condition, which when the condition is met, all the childs will be executed. The condition in if command is a Boolean expression, which we discussed expressions in previous videos. In this example, we simply call a method from console class to write the output in our screen. Here we go, a hello world procedural rule. Now that we have our first rule model ready, let's load the model and then execute it. Loading a model requires to set up a pipeline that we will discuss in future. Load pipeline allows you to load models in different languages from different locations. For example, an XML model that is stored on a file system or a model in your own custom domain specific language that is stored in your own database. No matter what the model language is and where the model is stored, when they are loaded, you will have one or more I element model. You can customize this load pipeline as you wish, but for this example, we use load adapter utility, which has pre-configured the pipeline to load XML model from different standard locations. When a model is loaded, you can use two XML method to have an XML representation of the model. When you have multiple models loaded from a source, then you don't have to have multiple references for each of them. You should add them in a container called rule set. Rule set holds your models and then you can query a rule set later on for a specific model by its name. Rules word in this example is the section that we add this first rule into it. The sections in rule set can be hierarchical. You can simply think of these sections like as in-memory grouping mechanism. A model can be addressed in a rule set by a URL that has rule set double colon slash slash protocol. The last part of this URL address is the model name, not the file name because file name is just simply a media that you store the rule into the file system. If you store the rule in the database, there is no file name, but there is always a model name. Let me create a copy of rule one XML called rule two XML and modify it as you can see in my screen.
Now we have two models in this example, rule 1xml and rule 2xml. If you want to load all these models one by one, instead of adding them individually to rule set, you can use a class called model container. Model container is simply a collection for models. When you use model container, you should use fill navigable source method on load adapter utility class to fill a model into the provided container. And then pass this container to rule set. When you have many rules, you possibly would categorize and group them for different scenarios in your application. In our example, we use folders for this. If you have many folders and subfolders, it would be tedious task to go over them one by one, load the rules and add them to the related sections in the rule set. So instead, you can use ruleset factory class to specify the location of a folder and load the entire hierarchy as a ruleset by one line of code. To summarize, in this video you learned about modeling concepts, loading the models, and how you can load models into a rule set in an easy way.